he has. It's all over. Brad Farrow wins. How about that? Canada's first judo victory after three losses, a couple of them heartbreakers. Brad Farrow of Richmond, B.C. advances to the second round in lightweight judo, 139-pound category. And, Doug, he did a really good job. A fine job. It's just a little short of that. Uh, we have a Yuko, and the minimum technical point is a Koka. Well, why don't they, they don't go to a number system? I'm not too sure, Bob. Well, the other night I got into it uh, very deeply, and I was explaining the penalty points, the uh, Shidos, the Chewies. And <laughs> I think since there are none on the board right now, I think we, we might as well just forget about it, trying to explain that again. Hey, it's a pleasure to do business with you because I don't want to get into that again. Just a final few seconds in the match, and it doesn't look like Pointer of Austria is going to be able to do anything with Chang of South Korea. The Korean fought very, very well, very cleverly. The horn goes. And that one is over, and the winner by one Koka, Ikyung Chang of South Korea, over Eric Pointer of Austria, and Chang advances to the second round. Well, that's a little bit of... Come on, that's lightweight judo, 139 pounds. Brad Farrow of Richmond, B.C., on the far side of the mat, wearing number 504. And he's against Ruiz of Puerto Rico, and Farrow... Although no points have been awarded yet, uh, the Puerto Rican has a penalty point against him, but Faro Doug Rogers doing quite well up to this point. Doing quite well. If no more points is scored, Brad will automatically win because Ruiz has that penalty point against him for passivity. The big thing here is that both of them have been uh, trying the chokehold uh, quite often and nobody successful yet. Right. Each Oh, there's a leg scissors attempt by Ruiz. Unsuccessful. Brad likes groundwork. He has to hold him on his back before they'll call a, a hold down. Farrow, 19 years old, from Richmond, B.C. Angelo Ruiz of Puerto Rico, 18. They're about the same height, uh, 5 feet 7. And now it's Ruiz on top. His turn to try for the chokehold, but no points have been awarded yet. Only a penalty point against the Puerto Rican fighter, which would make the difference in the event it remained this way until the end of the match. We're coming up to one minute remaining now. Ruiz must be fairly confident of his groundwork as well, Bob, because he obviously uh, knows uh, Brad's reputation, and he's taken the fight there at times uh, as well. So he's probably a very worthy opponent. Farrow, the gold medalist at the Pan Am Games in Mexico City, not quite a year ago. Now they're down to the final 40 seconds. And it's anybody's match right up to this point. It's a nice attempted shoulder throw by Brad Farrow. It didn't work, and again, Ruiz is down on top of him, trying to work on the ground, trying to get him over on his back. They're going to stand them up. Oh, <laughs> they didn't. Right back in the groundwork again. Bit of a fake, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Puerto Rican gets up as if to say, let's start over again, and then all right. of a sudden dives on you well, while you're not watching. Well, if the referee doesn't say to break it and stand up, oh, very, very close. He's on the scoreboard with one coca, the minimum technical point in judo. Holy mackerel, right at the end. Can you believe that? A coca for the Puerto Rican fighter right at the end is going to cost Brad Farrell. Though I think Brad is uh, still going to win if, I, if the scoreboard is correct. Well, they each got a coca. Now, Farrell got one right at the end, too. Well, because Ruiz has the penalty point against him, uh, Brad uh, should win. Holy mackerel. Everything happened right at the end there. A coca here, a coca there. Yes, there we go. Brad hey, wins. Brad Farrell wins his second round match and advances into the third round in the lightweight judo competition. And, oh, that was mighty close, Doug. I'll tell <laughs> too, you. Too close for comfort.